Captain Marvel. What a giga chad. This card is so good. And the art is even better. Okay, Quantum Tunnel. I guess we'll play this. And then we'll see from there. Control Sarah. Control Sarah. I kind of need to draw my Cosmo now armor. Uh, never mind. Hmm. What's up, Kang? That we can. Ch God. <laughs> uh. Good zero variant. True. I need to actually make my my. Favorites, but actually true. It's like a hit monkey deck. So I guess we have to skip this turn. And then she held Captain uh, she held Taskmaster, I guess. Doesn't look like I'm winning though. Let's see with Kang what happens. Why would you play it like that? Oh, I didn't mind this here. Don't mind actually. What an easy game. Higher, further, faster, baby. Oh, what an easy game. Captain Marvel popping off. Victory. You see, Sumo, can Vision do that? Can your precious Vision do that? So I'm just gonna make my blood boil again. I don't want to make my blood boil, thank you very much. It's already 33 degrees Celsius. My blood is boiling enough as it is.
Did I snap robbing my kitty? That actually does piss me off a lot. And every time I get her mind, I get mad. turn could play Cosmo but I really want to have Shang I need hmm. it could be a bounce deck could play two Captain Marvels which would be nice two bishops though is quite scary for me okay, we got the two we got the Shuri on Sinister and then we should just win only problem is that I'm a little bit. I guess I'll just play with Captain Marvel. Plays best around Shang Chi. Sinister Land is just so broken when it comes to Shuri. Like it's such a good location for Shuri. Okay. Captain Maul comes down here. And then we'll play probably Taskmaster. Or maybe Armor to play around Shang Chi. I guess we'll play Kang to check if there's a Shang Chi, then we'll see if we need to play uh, Armor or not. Check with Shang Chi. Oh, please don't break my game. Please don't break my game. Please don't break my game. Do not make my game blow up. Although playing a Kang here, which is literally going to spawn on two locations, might actually break my game. Cosmo and armor. I mean, I'll just check what he's playing with Kang then decide. Okay, so win. Yeah, I guess it's nice actually to see what your opponent plays. That is one thing I've always wanted in this game. Is even if you lose the game, you should be able to see your opponent's hand. I would love to know what they were going to play. I guess that's one benefit of playing Kang is you get to see what your opponent plays. The other downside though is quite often I feel disincentivized of playing Kang because of the damn bugs. Like this card is so buggy and so broken. That it makes me sometimes just not want to play it. Like, there's actually been quite a few games where I could have played Kang on turn six. I decided, nah, I'm probably winning this game. I don't need to play Kang. I don't want to play Kang. It's too slow, too buggy. Let me just ignore playing it. And then I actually lost to the surprise card, which would have won if I played Kang. Which is kind of dope. Kang hasn't bugged me in a while. Kang bugs me literally all the time. It's super annoying. Imagine being a bub.
Alright, so then we'll play Taskmaster next. Put it here since we're going for a point difference win. And then I play the Captain Marvel here so we can get some points on Luke's bar. Alright, seems good. Seems very, very good. Man, I love this variant. This variant's actually so nice. These art gem variants are so or art gem variants are actually so good. Victory. We'll play the, the sunspot, then we'll see from there. Quicksilver. Okay, if there's one thing Twitch chat has taught me about this game, is that when you see a Quicksilver, always snap instantly, don't think about it. So I am going to instantly snap and not think about it. Twitch chat taught me this trick. Agatha? I mean, Domino and Quicksilver? Probably is. Uh, it's gonna ghost rather than that. Sounds a bit sussy though, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so I'll play Kang, see where things are going. Saying that we can pretty easily beat that. I don't know if this is a bot or not, but I'm just gonna play this out. And then hopefully, if something goes wrong, Mrs. Higher, further, faster can win us the game. Alright, nice. Hello, what? Nah, no, it's just a. Agatha deck fine boost is so hard. It's not hard, it's just time consuming. It depends on the card though. Like for some cards it's pretty easy, but like farming boosts with weaker cards can be difficult. Like can you try imagine farming quicksilver boosters? That'll be a pain. And that will actually be a mega pain.
Um, so we have Shuri plus Captain Marvel, which is nice. Another night, I needed two Mystique boosters. I gave up for two hours. Wait, two hours? You can get two boosters? How? That's kind of insane. That is kind of a little bit insane. Not gonna lie. Okay, so snap here. Get absolutely higher, further, faster on. Nice. Victory. Very, very nice. I don't Have you tried not discarding your best cards, though? I heard discarding your Shuri as well as your Taskmaster is bad for you. Thanks for the 7 month resub, really appreciate it. Actually, I put it here, play around Shang-Chi. Oops. So play Kang and check what he's gonna do. Deserve for playing Shuri. I feel attacked. I feel actually personally attacked. Imagine being rude. Sue me? Alright. Contact my lawyer as we speak. Alright. You are now getting sued. You don't have a domain. Higher, further, faster, baby. Nice. Easy game, easy life. Victory. You get absolutely counter Shuri on. Also, my Captain Marvel variant looks better. Uh, I guess I'll play this, then we'll see. <clears throat> Alright, I'll play... Actually, I'm not sure if I should even play Mojo World. I might not be able to get enough points in here anyway, but... I don't know, maybe I should still at least try. I guess I can get enough. What is the point? I mean, the point is to be obnoxious and annoying. Some people literally just get a kick out of being obnoxious and 
I don't know. Like, there are legitimately a lot of people that, I mean, you know how it works. People just, people that troll on the internet, people that grief other people in games just to try to be annoying. Like, some people in life just get enjoyment out of just being as obnoxious and annoying as they can be. I don't get the appeal, but for some people, their enjoyment stems from the unenjoyment of others. Is that a word? I don't know, I'm inventing words here, aren't I? Okay, it looks like it's a bounce deck. Uh, do I want blue marvel or do I want this? I think I want this actually. But uh, uh, maybe blue marvel, I don't know. Let's see. Kink shaming? I mean, I will shame that kink. Sounds familiar? What's that supposed to mean? Excuse me. Excuse me. <clears throat> also, imagine liking pink lemonade. Yellow lemonade is superior. Um, okay, how much points do I have here? I don't think I got enough. Then again, how much points is in mid? Higher, further, faster, baby. Oh, Captain Marvel! What a giga chat. This card is so good. And the art is even better. So good. 